Posting pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends. And ever since you came around, I've never been sober, always in my head. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are brand new here. Today's video is a kitchen deep clean. I'm going to go in, empty all of the cupboards and just give everything a good wipe over. I'm also doing the oven and the washing machine today just to get everything nice and clean ready for springtime. So do go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave today's video a thumbs up and let's just jump straight into it. So the other day when I was putting the washing up away, I noticed how dirty this cupboard was. So that's what inspired today's video. I realized that I haven't actually emptied out all of the cupboards and drawers lately and given them a good clean. And that's normally one of the first things I do when I do my spring cleaning. But because I've been focusing on so many different areas, I just completely forgot to sort out the kitchen cupboards. So I wanted to go straight in and do those first things. So I'm just gonna wipe them down with my flash kitchen spray and then go in again with some kitchen roll just to dry them off just to make sure that i'm not putting all of our cups and glasses straight on to antibiotic spray i like to make sure that they're wiped off and dried out first so i'm just going to go ahead and do that and just continue my way through the kitchen doing each drawer and each cupboard So whilst I was doing this, I did have a bit of a declutter because I realised that I've still got my Christmas mugs and autumn cups and things still on the bottom shelf, which was just causing chaos. I didn't have room for my normal cups, so I decided to take those out and put them in a different cupboard. I didn't want to put them in the garage with the rest of the Christmas stuff just in case they get broken. And I've also got a huge friend's cup mug. I don't even know what you call it, bowl, but I don't want to throw it away, but it doesn't really get used but it's one of those items that I want to keep just in case I want it in the future. So it doesn't really belong in the main cup cupboard and taking it out has given me so much more space. So because we've got such a small kitchen, we don't really have a lot of storage. So everything can look all over the place and a complete mess, even when it is organized. So there's definitely method in the madness. I know where everything is and it's organized enough for me. It's not how I would want it, but it's how it is. And unfortunately I don't have any other storage to try and organize it differently. But even if it looks a mess, it is organized to the point where I know where everything is. So all I need to do in this one is take it out and give everything a good wipe over and I did the top shelf a couple of days ago so that one doesn't need doing I did bake some um, cupcakes the other day so I gave that a quick clear out when I emptied it out so I'm not going to clean it just for the sake of cleaning it as I did do it a couple of days ago So I don't actually remember the last time I cleared all these drawers out but I am going to be showing you a close-up before I clean them because they were so gross. They was just full of crumbs and I've spilt something in the top one and it was just really gross so to think that I was putting all of the cutlery and everything on top of it is just disgusting so I'm really glad that I got round to this today and finally it gave everything a good clean. Without you, everything is nothing. You make me lose my mind like all the time. 
So my cordless hoover is an absolute lifesaver, but I always forget that I can add the other attachment and have it as a handheld one. But luckily I remembered today and hoovered out all of the drawers, which just made the job so much easier. So I definitely do recommend getting a cordless vacuum. I've got mine linked down in the description below if you do wanna check it out, but it just makes so many jobs that much easier. Speak so loud, even though I hide. Like I'm hypnotized, can't get out of here. You don't know me, I just need my time. Yeah, but they say. Sweet and you care about my night But I'm sobering up in this moment's past Oh yeah, I don't wanna be tucked in someone else's arms Cause my heart just broke and I need my time Wanna speak so loud even though I hide Like I'm hypnotized, can't get out of So like I said before, we don't really have a lot of storage. So this bottom drawer is pretty much used like a pantry. It's full of our canned food, dry food, just 
everything gets shoved in this one drawer so i had to take it out because as you can see it was a complete hot mess everything was just thrown all over the place and i couldn't really find anything that was in there so i had to empty it out and i was actually shocked at how dirty and messy this drawer had got because i don't think it's been that long since i've been in here but i definitely need to do it more often by the state of it so i'm just going to quickly empty it all out show you what i'm working with showing you a close-up so you can see how dirty it is and finally sort it out but look it's just there's bits and pieces all over it it's just gross so i need to go in empty it all out give it a good clean and just reorganize everything Seem to have the time, but when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we'll keep lighting fires. The words you be. This honestly felt like it took me forever. It took me such a long time and I'm pretty sure to most people it still looks like it's a complete mess, but it is organized. I've kept all of the canned food to one side and just tried to keep it in categories so I know where everything is. So it's not the best, obviously, because it is just all shoved in one drawer, but I know where it all is and it's so much neater than it was, but I'm just glad that it's now finally clean. So it's now time to just move on to the other cupboards, giving them a good wipe over and just make them nice and fresh. Been here a thousand times, set up a stage of lies, say we're done, say it's over. Shouldn't be coming back, but somehow we connect, acting drunk even though we're sober. We should be good, but we'll keep out of fires. Then what you be? Cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we'll keep out of fires. Fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we'll keep out of fires. Then what you be? Cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we'll keep out of fires. Fires around ourselves. It's deja vu.
but we keep lighting fires Would you be cause we're scared of the silence We should be good but we keep lighting fires We keep on talking and talking so I'm now moving on to the pots and pans cupboard and for the life of me I can never keep this one tidy. I don't know why but I always try and have the cooking on the top shelf and then the baking on the bottom and whenever I do it it always it turns out really well. It looks really neat and I know where everything is but for some reason I just can't keep it that way. It always ends up getting really mixed and messy but it needs clearing out again so I'm just going to empty it all out, give it a good wipe over and just finally reorganise it so all the cooking is on the top shelf and the baking is on the bottom. So the top shelf is where we keep the bin and you're going to see that that is a lot cleaner than the bottom shelf because obviously where the bin is it does get wiped down a lot more often but it could still do with a clean today so I am just going to spray over it with the kitchen spray and make it nice and clean. I do need to empty this out more often as it is where we keep the bin it does tend to smell a little bit so I definitely need to keep on top of this more than I have been so I'm definitely going to be adding this to my weekly clean just to give everything a good spray over and empty it out once a week I think it will be fine obviously I do the bin more than once a week but I just mean empty out the whole cupboard and give it a good spray over just to get rid of any odors or anything I think once a week will be fine for that but I'm just really glad that I got to this today and emptied it all out I know the bottom shelf still looks messy and we've just got a box of bits and bobs and I think everyone has a bits and bobs box where you don't really know what to do with it so it all just gets shoved in a box so I thought the bin cupboard would be fine to just store all of this stuff that we don't want to get rid of but we don't really use on a daily basis either.
So I'm now going to take some Sephora and some kitchen roll. This is a little hack that I've picked up recently and I thought I would give it a go. So I'm just going to cover the kitchen roll in Sephora and then pop the kitchen roll in the bin. It just helps the bin smell fresher for longer and it also helps the whole cupboard smell nice. So anything that is going to make that bin cupboard smell nice, I am all for. So I thought I would give that a go. But now all the cupboards are done, I can now crack on with some other deep cleaning and really get to the nitty gritty bits. So I'm now moving on to the washing machine and honestly I think this is the most disgusting thing I have ever seen in my life so I just wanted to give you a bit of a warning that this is disgusting and I do need to get a proper washing machine cleaner but I'm not really sure where to begin so please do let me know down in the comments what you use to clean your washing machine because you're going to see in a minute how disgusting this is and me scrubbing it just isn't doing a good enough job for what it actually needs it was absolutely filthy and now I know that I do need to do this a lot more often Like you're feeling sorry Don't you look at me like that When you break my heart like that Like you're feeling sorry Cause you're not feeling sorry Hey, hey Don't you look at me like that When you break my heart like that I was honestly so embarrassed to actually show you what it looked like but this is just real life I'm keeping it real and it was disgusting so I thought I would show you how bad it was I even ended up going in with a toothbrush to really try and scrub it all out but it just wasn't working and it is definitely 10 times better than it was but I feel like it could still do with a deeper clean so do let me know how you clean yours what products you use and how often you clean them as well because honestly when it comes to washing machines I have no idea. I'm laying down at the compiling. Oh no, I see you only when you're balling. Oh no, I don't even care to doubt. I see you in the wild, cause this time I will choose you. Yeah, I'll choose. You know exactly how they look like this. Holding in a bag full of goods and needs. I need a night like this. Knowing it's a risk because you're using it. I actually forgot what it was like being able to actually see through it because it's so clean so I'm really glad that I did this today but the inside could definitely do with some more work but right now I'm just going to start on the oven using the pink stuff paste I am only doing the door because I have deep cleaned the racks and the inside of the oven about a week maybe two weeks ago so it definitely doesn't need doing again but I do like to try and keep the door as clean as possible because I like to be able to see through it and you can just see when the oven's closed how dirty it is when I don't do the door so I did just want to go in and give that a good scrub over with the paste and this was so satisfying at wiping it all off but I absolutely love this product for the oven. So once I had all that done, I could move on to the rest of the kitchen. And my favourite thing to clean is the kitchen sink because I just love having a shiny sink. It really completes the kitchen. So I'm going to go in using my Sif cream and a minky. And then again with a dry microfiber cloth and the white vinegar spray just to buff it up and make it nice and shiny before we go in and wipe down the rest of the kitchen. I don't want to fall in love like this. But I can't help to fall for you repeatedly I 
Forget about signs and rules. Oh, the payment and the long, long roads. Yeah, and you're always in such a rush. Mmm, with your life playing from the stereo. But all alone mm. And you're always staring at your phone You need another great relief so I'm now going to go ahead and fill the sink up with some hot water and Sephora so I can use that diluted water on the work sides and also the cupboard and drawers and everything and just give everything a good wipe over so I know that it's all disinfected but it's also leaving the whole room smelling it gorgeous. Let's put on our anthem, we'll be singing all night long, all night long. Oh, 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 oh. Let's put on our anthem. Fishes in the stream mm. And down the boulevard of broken dreams So we'll make a little change in pay uh, A minor shift of time and space Oh baby, this time we'll be gone forever Never in a lifetime Will you see us back here again So come before it's too late Hurry now cause I can't wait Let's put on our anthem We'll be singing all night long Oh baby this time We'll be gone forever Never in a lifetime Will you see us back here again So come before it's too late Hurry now cause I can't wait Let's put on our anthem We'll be singing all night long All night long So I was absolutely loving how this kitchen was feeling, it was just so fresh, it put me in such a good mood, it makes me so happy having a clean kitchen, it's definitely my favourite room to clean. So once that was done it was time to clean all of my microfiber cloths, so I wanted to take a cleaning pod and some boiling water and just fill the sink up, that way I can get them all cleaned, hand washed, ready for the next day and the downstairs smells absolutely amazing. Yeah. So the final thing I need to do is concentrate on the floor because so much stuff came out of those cupboards and the floor is absolutely filthy. So I'm gonna go over it first of all with the dustpan and brush and just get into all of the corners so I don't miss anything. Then I'm gonna go over it with the hoover and also the steam mop just to make sure that it is nice and clean.
thank you so much for watching today's kitchen deep clean i really hope that it's given you all the motivation that you came looking for and it's helped motivate you to give your kitchen a bit of a deep clean as well if it has do go ahead and leave today's video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave and i will see you back here in the next one Thank you.